everyone and welcome to a just a quick little Lolita unboxing slash haul though it's it's there's three items it's not a very big one but hey it's new Lolita it's the first new Lolita I've gotten in quite a while and um well let me grab the package and explain so as you are well aware recently James and I moved house Obviously moving is stressful, moving is miserable, and as I outlined in this video, I actually put the vast majority of my Lolita wardrobe in storage. The good thing about that is that the sort of capsule, I use that word loosely, that I have with me, it has highlighted gaps in my wardrobe that I wouldn't have noticed if I had literally my entire wardrobe with me. So it's helped me sort of refine my little... I don't really want to call it a wish list because I don't really hunt things down or whatever, but anyway, it was making me think about Lolita more, and so I was browsing Lolita sites more, which led me to browsing Closet Child, which led me to finding one of the few items that I actually would call a wish list item. So I have my little uh, Closet Child box here, and I think I've obscured my address well enough, so uh, let's open it. <laughs> Oh yeah, she's beautiful. Can you guess what she is? <laughs> oh yes, oh yes. All right, let me just put uh, the box uh, over there so I can open the item. <laughs> oh, I get a little too excited. Oh my gosh, beautiful, beautiful. So, um, if you can't guess by now, this is um, a baby star shine bright fawn fur beret, which I have wanted basically ever since I got into Lolita. I had a fawn fur beret made for me by Pico Falorum, which was, you know, very nice, but I still, especially after I actually got my hands on the baby cape look, I've always wanted the baby beret and oh, ooh, beautiful, 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 beautiful. Oh, wow. Oh gosh, that's lovely. Oh, okay. So the reasons why I'm gushing. The fur itself is very thin. Like, not, not, not in terms of quality, like there's quite a lot of fur there, but the fabric itself is quite thin, which means that this is very, very light, very floppy, will look lovely when worn. There's a big, beautiful bow on the front with shiny, shiny <laughs> dingle dangles, oh, which is also beautiful. And is that? It's detachable! Oh wow! The lining is nice and silky, obviously it's got a baby tag somewhere. Yeah, there we go, little pink baby tag. Oh, and that's just... That's just honestly delightful. Oh, and this whole bow at the front, it is detachable. As well as the dingle dongles being detachable from it, the whole thing is detachable. And <laughs> that just makes me really happy. Like, I know fawn for isn't on trend anymore, but have I ever cared about trends? No, no I haven't, but, oh. Okay, now I get why people have dream dresses. Like, not that I'm ever gonna hunt down dresses and spend lots of money on them, but I spent like, probably once you factor in shipping, I probably spent about 80 bucks on this, so um, <clears throat> but what can I say? So actually, no, I take it back. I, I do not disparage anyone for having dream items because the joy of attaining one is, is quite, quite joyous. So, uh, I, I will pop this on and I will show you what it looks like when it's on. <laughs> Sorry, things look like they got a bit dark there for a moment. I'm still getting used to, like, this is my first full video that I'm shooting at the new place. I, I did post about sort of uh, setting up the space and a bit about the, the move and stuff, but uh, yeah, this is my first actual <laughs> proper filming here and I'm, I'm having a bit of trouble adjusting to the light. I'm depending a lot more on natural light and today is a very alternating between overcast and sunny day, so what can I do? But anyway, while I was on Closet Child, I did also buy another baby item. So this is just a... It's not like a bright red, but it's lighter than like burgundy. It's sort of a dark red red, if that makes any sense. Um, head bow, because that's something that especially, I mean, I had already wanted one on 
I do have a little Google Doc, Docs like wish list and a red head bow, just a plain red head bow was on there. So, you know, this was a good find, affordable price. I do like how baby's head bows sit on me. I find a lot of AP ones are a little too big, whereas baby is big but flatter. <laughs> so I like how they fit better. So yeah, this is, you know, not particularly remarkable, but it's a very nice little head bow. I do like that it is like a side bow because as you can see I like adding supplementary hair items and this will leave me plenty of room to do that. So once again I'll pop it on and show you what it looks like. So that's the little closet child unboxing. Like I said, not a particularly large haul but hey, items that I am well and truly happy about. But I do have one more thing to show you. So, as part of the move, I needed to go to Kmart to grab some things, and um, you have to walk through the clothing section to get to the rest of the store, and I found something rather beautiful. Okay, it doesn't look beautiful when I hold it up like that, but this is a cropped cardigan in an oversized lavender and white hound's tooth, and oh my gosh, it, 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 it's gorgeous. It's perfect for Lolita. Like, it, it hits just lower than my natural waist, which... I think is fine and yeah it's soft, it's warm, it's lavender, it actually fits both my wardrobe in general and the actual section of my wardrobe I have with me here really darn well and here in Australia we are in autumn now going into winter so I think I'm gonna get quite a lot of use out of this. I may end up adding some like lace to it but I probably won't realistically but it's, it's always an option if I want to like lolitify it a bit more but I think it's really kind of beautiful as is. Those are the newest additions to my Lolita wardrobe. Um, I am really quite happy about all of them, even though in a sense the only real exciting one is the Fawn Fur Beret, but they're all just useful items and I'm really enjoying working with my wardrobe in a way to make it useful, comfortable, and in a sense as close to perfect as I can get it. I like, I don't know, I feel like I've evolved in Lolita. I'm past the point of just buying things and grabbing things because it's cool. I'm now at the point of I want to make my wardrobe perfect for me. And yeah, that's what I'm doing and it's really exciting and it's really, really fun. So yeah, hope you enjoy seeing my little, you know, <laughs> little whore. <laughs> and until next time, bye bye.